Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you the best process for installing the PS4 emulator Shad PS4 through EmuDeck on our Steam Decks as quickly as possible, and I'll be guiding us step by step on how to set up the Shad PS4 emulator, add our PS4 games, and configuring EmuDeck to automatically add cover art for each of them. And if you enjoy the content I create, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, comment, and share this guide with others. From desktop mode, we want to open our web browser and access emudeck.com to be taken to the official emudeck website, where we want to scroll down to the bottom and find Download Emudeck. Here, we want to select SteamOS, click Download for free, and download emudeck.desktop to your Downloads folder. Afterwards, we want to access our Downloads folder and double-click on emudeck.desktop. Click Continue, we want to select Easy Mode and Next, followed by either SD card or internal storage. In this guide, I'm going to be choosing my internal storage for PS4 games. Select Internal Storage and Next. Steam Deck will be chosen by default and we can go ahead and press Finish. The installation for EmuDeck can take up to 20 minutes to complete. And once finished, we will see all of our emulators that have been installed present here. We want to select Next. And on the next screen, we want to select Manual Copy, followed by Emulation Folder. We'll be taken to our main emulation folder for EmuDeck, which if we ever want to find, we can just go to our Home folder in Places on the left here, and we'll always see Emulation in this folder here. Let's go back to EmuDeck. Press close on this warning and we want to press next, followed by Steam Library. And then here we want to launch the Steam ROM Manager. Click finish and we can go ahead and press close on this window. Now from here we need to select Manage Emulators and let's scroll down until we find Shad PS4. Select this and choose Install. Shad PS4 will now be installed into EmuDeck. We'll get a confirmation message that Shad PS4 was installed correctly, and we can go ahead and press close. Go back to your home folder, and for the three lines in the top right, we want to select Show Hidden Files, and we want to choose Dot Local, Share, scroll down until we find Shad PS4 and we want to scroll down again until we find Sys Modules. In our Sys Modules folder, we want to right click and paste all of our system modules that we have backed up from our own PlayStation 4 console. I suggest checking my guide linked in the description on how to achieve this. And in our emulation folder found in Home, we want to go to the following folder. Storage, Shad PS4, Games. This is the main directory for where we want to paste our games that we have backed up from our PlayStation 4. And you can find out in my other video linked in the description how to achieve this. So I have my copy of Bloodborne that I have backed up from my PlayStation 4 in my previous video. I'm going to right click and paste this folder in here. So I have CUSA 03173. Now I'm going to return to my emulation folder. I'm going to go inside Tools, Launchers, and I'm going to scroll down until I find shadps4.sh. Double click on this and shadps4 will load with all your games that are in the game folder showing in the game list. So for Bloodborne, what I want to do is right click here, select Cheats and Patches, Let's go on Patches, change the repository from Gold Hen to Shad PS4, select Download Patches, choose OK, and I want to choose the following patches. Skip Intro, 30fps Fix, Disable Chromatic Aberration, Disable Motion Blur, you can choose 60fps with Delta Time if you like, or choose it without. Disable VSync, and we want to scroll down and choose Resolution Patch 720p. Select Save, 
press OK and then close this window. Now we want to right click on Bloodborne and choose Create Shortcut. And a shortcut for Bloodborne will now be on the desktop. Choose OK, minimize Shad PS4, minimize your window, and we'll have Bloodborne here on the desktop. We want to right click on our Bloodborne shortcut, press Copy, and go back to your home folder, go inside Emulation, ROMs, and we want to scroll down all the way until we find PS4. Go inside your PS4 folder and then go inside the shortcuts folder. And we want to right click and paste our bloodborne.desktop shortcut. Afterwards, go back to your desktop and launch Emudeck. Once Emudeck loads, we want to go inside the Steam ROM manager. Let's go ahead and press next. And in here, we need to select toggle passes. Scroll down until you find PS4. Select this and we want to choose Add Games. We want to select Pass. Select Save to Steam. Steam will be closed and restarted by the Steam ROM Manager. Now once that's done, let's return to Desktop and then go to Gaming Mode. Let's press the Steam button and access our library. And in your Collections tab, we'll see Sony PlayStation 4 and we'll see Bloodborne and its cover art, like so, where we can select Play, and Shad PS4 will load Bloodborne. Select Play Offline, New Game, and now we'll see Shad PS4 loading through Emidec on the Steam Deck. For the moment, let's press the Steam button and exit the game. Afterwards, press the Steam button again, power, and let's go back to desktop mode. So now, I want to show you how to upgrade your Shad PS4 build if Emudeck is not updating to the latest version, or if you want to use a custom build of Shad PS4 that may offer performance benefits or improvements. So, let's go over to our web browser and access the GitHub page for the Shad PS4 build that you want to download. You want to scroll down to Releases, and in here I want to download this build. We always want to get the Shad PS4 Linux QT. Save this to your Downloads folder, go to your Downloads folder, and we want to double click and extract and afterwards we want to right click on our Shad PS4 app image that we have just extracted for the build that we want, select copy, go back to your home folder and then we want to go inside this applications folder here and you will see your Shad PS4 app image that is currently in use by Emudeck. So we want to right click and paste or you can right click and copy and back up the build that you had before paste your new one, select overwrite, and before we run it in gaming mode, we must run it once in desktop mode. So do this, and you'll know that you haven't run it before, because it will come up with this option here. Select continue, Shad PS4 will load with the build number, press X, and we can go back to gaming mode. And now I can play Bloodborne with the custom build that I've just pasted, offering a little bit better performance than usual. So I hope this guide was helpful in getting you all set up with Shad PS4 and PS4 emulation through Emudeck on the Steam Deck. And if you enjoyed this guide, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, comment and share this video with others. If you have any questions, please drop a comment down below and I'll try my best to help you. You all have a wonderful day, look out for one another, and I'll see you later.